believe me. In all seriousness, uh, thank you for waiting that long. Um, again, sorry that this video didn't drop back in June. It should have, but I had exams, kept losing the files, and this was actually the first time that the computer didn't erase those files. But yeah, the video is here now, and to give you a rundown, the video is basically a choose your own adventure story. Like after this intro, like you basically choose how things go in the book, what decisions you make. There are 16 endings in total, so you know, um, and there is a true ending, and you have to find the true ending after going through all the decisions. Now, joining me in this video will be the creator of the book, Steve Berto. Now, you might know Steve from, you know, he created Diary of a Hero Academia. He's currently creating a version of Danganronpa for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And I'm going to make sure I read that one too, so don't worry. Um, yeah, it's now the holidays, so, well, at least break for me. So now I have time to record videos and do whatever the fuck I want. Of course, I got exams next week as well. So I, not, not technically all what I want, but... During this week, y'all should see videos flowing through. Of course, I don't know when this video is going to drop. So, you know, by, by the time this video drops, videos are probably already on the channel. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to try and make it not confusing. So again, like what's going to happen is like in the description, there are chapters on the decisions you make. So like all you guys really need to do when a decision comes up, click the chapter. And that's pretty much it um yeah that's all i gotta say in terms of this intro i am so sorry it's long but you know okay time to start the video Spin master Mugen. it was an ordinary day like any other i was walking home from middle school with my friend rowley but once we parted ways i saw something outside my house it was a bush like the others on our street, but something was off. It was like my brain couldn't process it properly. It didn't look different necessarily, but I knew something was wrong with this bush. As I looked at the bush in confusion, something started to happen. More and more spots around me started to change. A giant vat of yogurt, Roderick's van but in Spanish, a gun, and tons of other random objects started appearing. I knew I needed to do something, but I had no idea where I, what was going on. I thought about getting Rowley, although I wasn't sure he would be much help. Make your decision! Find Rowley or figure it out yourself. Choose a path. I decided to find Rowley. I turned around and ran back down Surrey Street, dodging falling objects. Finally, I saw him struggling to open his door. He looked even more panicked than I was. Greg, what's going on? I don't know, but we gotta hide somewhere. We decided to take cover in Rowley's house. Not only was it bigger than mine, but if we ended up stuck in there during the apocalypse, I wouldn't have to be in the same house as Roderick or Manny. But as we headed into the house, there was a portal waiting in front of us. I instinctively turned around, but another one had popped up the way we came. We were trapped. Rowley and I both realized the same thing at once. We would need to go into one of the portals. I had no idea what was on the other side of them, but maybe we would be able to figure out what was causing all of this. Make your decision! Orange portal or pink portal? Choose a path. Whoa! Where are we? Hmm? Uh, it's a long story, but I feel responsible for all of this. Sorry for bringing you into this. <laughs> hey, Greta, how you doing? That guy has my voice, but he sounds cooler than me. Greg, everyone sounds cooler than you. <sighs> Rowley, just just shut the f Greg. That girl has a knife. We gotta do something. Huh? Who the heck are you guys? Bruh. Uh, I'm Greg. Shit. Greg is here. We gotta do something now. Uh, no way. If we go in there, we're just gonna get stabbed too. We have to come up with a plan. Make your decision! 
rush in and fight or come up with a plan. Choose a path. Hey! Yar yar days. This nigga ran towards the knife. This nigga stupid as fuck. <laughs> anyway. You got the yandere ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The first digit is 5. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. We need a plan. What's that over there? It's a baseball bat. Greta must have used it to knock out Greg and Holly. Then let's give this chick a taste of her own medicine. Ha! Huh? Looks like that did the trick. I'll go untie those two. So, who are you guys exactly? I think I'm you, from another universe. Hey, it's another portal. Greg? Two Gregs? Back off, weirdo, he's mine! Like hell he is! Uh, I think this is our chance to run. There's another portal, we gotta go through it. Man, if only this many people were in love with me in my dimension. We tumbled out of the portal into a darkened room. As I climbed off of the other rally, we were all immediately jolted awake by the sound of gunfire. Whatever that last universe had been, this one didn't seem like an improvement. But when I looked out into the hallway, what I saw was even more shocking. So, Susan? Give me the penis, friend. <laughs> it never gets old. It was my dad. My first thought was to run over and help him. Maybe he would have some idea of what was going on. Make your decision. Help dad or stay hidden. Choose a path. Number 7. Condoms found in food. At a McDonald's in Eastern Pennsylvania in 1999, William Smith discovered a condom while eating his Big Mac. He complained to the manager, who apologized and offered him two coupons. Smith would later file a lawsuit against the company, citing emotional and physical illness. Ten years later, a Swiss seven-year-old girl found a condom in her order of fries. Her mother, who was understandably furious, called the police, who sent the prophylactic to a laboratory to check whether or not it posed a health risk. They also investigated into how it got there. Whatever was happening out there, I didn't want to be a part of it. The seven of us crouched down in the room and hoped no one else noticed us. As I looked around, it seemed like we were in some sort of lab. There was weird machines and equipment all over the room. We heard somebody shouting something that sounded like, Wrong answer, fat ass, and then the gunfire stopped. We left the room and looked around the massive lab. There was carnage all around us. Scattered around the room were the bodies of people dressed in uniform, but no sign of dad or mom. I assume that's the Susan he was talking to. Suddenly another portal opened up right in front of us, but before any of us could enter, Holly made a suggestion. Do you think we should take those guns? We don't know what's going to be on the other side of that portal. That wasn't something I expected to hear from Holly Hills of all fucking people, but it made sense. There were a bunch of weapons scattered around the room which I guess the guards must have been using. We went around collecting them and soon, we were all armed. It didn't look like there was anything for us in this universe, so one by one we walked into the portal. When we emerged, we were in a place unlike anything we had ever seen. It was like a massive palace and on one end was a huge crowd of people. As we got closer, I realized they were all HIM. As if things couldn't get any creepier, they were all surrounding what we realized as a throne, and sitting on it was one of the Mannies. Ah, Bubby and friends, welcome to the Manny Singularity. Unfortunately, you won't be around to see it. We pulled out all of our guns, 
but as I aimed at Manny, I hesitated. Was I really gonna shoot my own brother? Make your decision! Reason with him or open fire. Choose a path. I gave my friends the signal and we opened fire. But the other Manny jumped in front of the main one and soon the whole horde was charging at us. There are too many of them! I kept shooting at the Mannies but eventually one knocked the gun out of my hand. I felt something metal press against my leg. Nice try, Bubby, but you lost, and now you're going to watch your friends die. You got the outnumbered ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The 8th digit is 8. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. Manny, why are you doing all of this? I'm combining every power of every Manny from every universe. We're going to conquer every universe one at a time. Manny told me that as we spoke, universes were collapsing in on themselves, just like what I had seen happen to mine. And then what? You rule over a multiverse where everyone's dead? Manny, we care about you. Don't throw your life away for some power fantasy. Manny looked conflicted, but the other Mannys around him were getting agitated. Let's kill Bubby, hurry up! I looked around and noticed something. Above us was a massive window covering most of the ceiling, letting me see into outside the palace. Swirling around a black void were images that I realized must have been other universes. I took out my gun and I pointed it at the sky. The window shattered and as we took cover, a shower of glass rained on Manny's army. While they were disoriented, I ran over to the main Manny. Manny, look! Is all this really worth giving up? Bubby, I'm going to destroy this place. That will close all the portals. Manny flipped open a hatch on his throne and pressed a red button inside. Suddenly, the palace started shaking. The doors one on one side opened, and like a vacuum, we were all sucked out. As Rowley, Manny, and I were pulled towards one portal, the other Greg and his friends were pulled towards the other. I had a feeling I would never see them again. Suddenly, we drifted into a portal, and I collapsed onto the ground. We were home. All of the foreign objects were gone, but the damage they had done was not. Our house was a mess. You got the power of friendship ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The seventh digit is one. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video.
came to the pink portal, and together we carefully stepped in. When we came out the other side, we appeared in what looked like the hallway of a hotel or apartment building or something. I'm not gay, Greg. I was shocked. It seemed we had walked in on some sort of love confession, but the people in the hallway... There was no doubt about it, it was an older version of me and Rowley. We approached the other me, who was now sitting in the hallway alone, but he acted as if we weren't even there. But as we tried to talk to this distraught Greg, something else appeared in front of us. It was another portal. Maybe this one would bring us back home, or at least to a place where we could get some help. Make your decision! Go into the green portal or stay here. Choose a path. We went into the portal and when we came out, it was exactly the same as the fucking place we had come from. Well, that's not entirely true. The other Greg was now gone. We decided to knock on other Rally's door to see if he could help us. Yes, uh, who is this? That definitely wasn't Rally. We asked him if Rally Jefferson lived here and he looked at us like we were crazy. That portal had definitely changed something. We decided to leave the building and look around, but when I stepped outside, I got an even bigger shock. We were in a city. As we started to look around, I realized I had been here before. We were in Boston, which was only about half an hour from Plainview. I didn't know why this other Raleigh and Greg had been in Boston, or why they weren't here anymore, but we decided our best bet was to head home. We snuck on board a bus headed to Plainview, and soon we were on our way. After a while, the bus stopped in Plainview, near Crossland High School. Raleigh and I got off and started walking. At first, I didn't know where we were even walking to, but it turns out we didn't have to decide. A fancy car pulled up next to us, and when the window rolled down, I couldn't believe who I was. Wait, who I was? Anyway, get in. It was me. And this version of me looked a lot cooler than the one we had seen in the apartment building. Rowley and I got into the stranger's vehicle to find another surprise. The other Rowley was there too. The car we were in looked super expensive, and I almost sat on a fancy leather jacket in the back that looked identical to the one the other Greg was wearing. He asked me who we were, and so I explained everything that had happened. It seems like each portal leads to a different version of reality, but how is that even possible? Sorry, but that doesn't seem like our problem. Look, I got fun brain games to run and Rowley has to do whatever Rowley does. My heart stopped. Fun brain games? The me in this universe ran the company that made Twisted Wizard? I didn't have time to reflect on that because I suddenly heard a huge crash. As the other Greg stopped the car, more weird stuff started popping up, just like at my house. The road was too blocked to drive so we got out of the car and started running. But I heard Rowley call my name and I turned around. HELP! The other three were trapped above a portal. I just needed something to bridge them to safety, so I started to look around. Suddenly, a thought occurred to me. Greg left his glasses in the car. There was a spare jacket in there too. I was a little shorter, but other than that we looked basically identical. I could have the job of my dreams, the life of my dreams. All I needed to do was take his place. Make your decision! Save the others or leave them behind. Choose a path. I shook the thought out of my head. There was no way I could just let my friends fall in. I grabbed one of the pieces of debris from nearby and used it like a bridge to get the others across. Now that everyone was safe, we ran away from the falling objects until we were in the parking lot of Corny's. Rowley and I had to decide what to do now. So, if you won't help us, well, you did save us from that portal, so I guess we can help out a little. That was a relief, since I honestly had no idea what to do next, but apparently, neither did they. We all stood around until Raleigh noticed something in the distance. Hey look! Another portal! Sure enough, there it was. 
A portal was what had gotten us into this mess, so I was hesitant to go into another one. Then again, it seemed like our only option if I wanted to get back to my universe. Make your decision! Go in the portal or find another way. Choose a path. The four of us emerged from the portal to find a scene swirling with chaos. It was impossible to see through the rain, but I saw what looked like someone getting stabbed. We suddenly heard a banging sound and someone else entered my field of vision. It was me, or at least this universe's version of me. He looked like he was about to kill the attacker when something got in his way. A group of people emerged from the portal and moved to side with the attacker. Thank you for your patience, Officer Manuel. Manny's charged at Greg number 3 and we rushed in to help him. From there it was pandemonium. Greg with a gun took on the big Manny, who seemed to be the leader of the group. The one with the knife, the guy who must have been Officer Manuel, charged right at me. I could barely dodge all of his attacks, much less throw out any of my own. I was just barely surviving, doing anything I could to keep that knife away from my body. Finally, Manuel had pinned me, and I was sure I was done, but suddenly something slammed into him. Officer Manuel got absolutely bodied by Rowley, and the knife skidded out of his hand and into the grass. I reached out to grab it from him and looked around. The smaller Manny looked pretty beat up, but the muscular Manny was destroying us. It seemed like he had super abilities of some kind, because he was shooting fire out of his hand and making portals appear from thin air. Greg too had burn marks on his shoulders, Rowley too was lying on the ground dazed, and Greg 3 was out of bullets. Even Holly Hills, or at least this place's version of her, was fighting the two smaller Mannies. Manny must have been doing... Ugh, fuck. Manny must have been going pretty overboard on the fire because the house behind us was completely ablaze. As the rain subsided, I suddenly had an idea. If I could tackle the big Manny into a fire, I could save my friends and take him out for good. Of course, that meant I would be going into the fire too. Make your decision! Fight him together or sacrifices must be made. Choose a path. There was no way I was going to die here. We need to all rush him at the same time. All six of us, including Holly, charged at him. I held out my knife, ready to stab Manny, but he was ready for that. You got the free fall ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. Your 12th digit is 7. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. I turned to take one last look at my friends. Then I hurled the knife with all my might. Is that all you've got? While the muscular Manny was distracted, I lunged. Ha! The Manny struggled as we descended into the flames. I didn't know what would happen to my friends, but at least they were safe. You got the sacrificed ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The 11th digit is 6. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. There was no way I was going into some random portal. We decided to wait around and find another way. The weird objects kept popping up and we realized pretty quickly that we were in danger of being crushed. So we gathered supplies and hid in the basement of the school until things died outside. A few days later, the noise outside stopped and we came back to the surface. So... What do we do now? You got the stranded ending! Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending! The 10th digit is 5. Go back to your previous choice for the very beginning of the video. Without a word, I turned back to the car. I grabbed the glasses and jacket and put them on. By the time I turned around again, the other three were gone, along with the piece of pavement they had been standing on. I walked away from the debris that scattered the ground. That was someone else's problem now. It was time for me to begin my new life. I could finally be rich and famous. Oh my god, this nigga is a fucking sociopath. <laughs> you got the imposter ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The ninth digit is 3. Go back to your previous choice or the very beginning of the video. I turned back to the guy sitting on the ground. Look, we really need your help. What did you say? Older Rowley led the three of us inside. He asked me and Rowley what was going on. 
but there really wasn't much to explain. I told him about the weird stuff falling from the sky and how we had come here through a portal. I don't know exactly what's happening, but it seems like you're us from the past. That other Greg was me from the future? Considering I found him crying outside Rowley's door, <laughs> that wasn't exactly encouraging. Anyway, adult Rowley said that if the portal showed back up when those weird objects started appearing, we should try to find more weird objects to find a portal home. That made sense, but it was easier said than done. But as Greg was flitting through the TV channels, he got our attention. Mysterious falling objects have been found on Surrey Street in Plainview. Experts have no idea what to make of the situation. Adult Rowley drove me and Rowley back to Plainview. Adult Greg tagged along, which as you can imagine made the car ride pretty awkward. But when we got to my house, I knew this was what we were looking for. We stopped the car and the four of us walked toward the portal. I guess I had assumed the adults would go with us, but they were staying in their dimension. Rowley walked into the portal and I was about to follow him when I stopped. Look, I don't know what happened between you guys, but don't let our friendship have been for nothing. I followed Rowley into the portal and when we came out, we were in somewhere I recognized right away. It was school. That was a good sign. But suddenly I saw a group of people walking down the hallway. Okay, so it turns out that the portal we went through does not bring us back home. And whatever this place is, I'm not sure I want to find out. Make your decision. Go back through the portal or stay here. Choose a path. We turned around and went straight back through. But when we came out, we were not at my house anymore. Wait, this is my house, but everything's so weird. Hey, you gotta help me. I can't find my parents anywhere. I'm guessing your name is Greg. How did you look? Have you seen any weird looking portals anywhere? Uh, no, then we better look around a few minutes later. I found one. It's in Manny's room. Are you sure about this? If you want to save your parents, it's our only option. When we came out of the portal, we were in a huge palace. But what shocked me most were the decorations. Everything looked like Manny. And sure enough, sitting on a throne in the center of the room, there he was. Ah, Bubby, so glad you could- Huh? I had no idea who this guy was. He didn't look like anyone I knew. And when I saw other Greg's face, I could tell he didn't know either. Who are you? Duh, I'm Roderick. But you're... Not your Roderick? Yeah, I get that a lot. But soon I'll be everyone's Roderick, because everyone will look like me. Roderick had some kind of contraption with him which he used to turn Manny into that weird looking version. It seemed like it would be dangerous to charge right at him. In the corner of the room was something that I hadn't even noticed at first. It was an army of Mannies. Most looked like the ones I knew, but they were all sorts of weird variations. Based or the way they looked at Roderick, I couldn't tell if they were on his side or not. Make your decision! Attack the Mannies or attack Roderick! Choose a path! The three of us rushed at the Mannies, ready for a fight. But we didn't really think that plan through because Roderick aimed his gun at us. You got the long holified ending! Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending! The 13th digit is 2. Go back to your first choice or to the very beginning of the video. We charged at Roderick, who leveled his gun at us, but just before he could fire, I managed to reach him. The beam missed us and hit the wall of the palace. At first, I had no idea what was going to happen, but then the whole place started to shake. The entire place was Roderick-fied, which turned it into a... Yeah, so that word's cut off right there, uh, so I don't know what that was. Moving on. That looked awfully similar to mine. As I looked around, I was shocked. 
we were in a black void. And all around us were these weird bubbles that I realized were windows into other dimensions. Suddenly, I felt an invisible force tugging on me. And Rowley and I started to move in one direction like a black hole was pulling us in. I realized that we were all being pulled back into our home dimensions. But also, I noticed that people were being pulled out of the portals. By destroying the palace, it seems like we had reversed the damage done by Manny, and everyone was going back home. The Manny on the throne even turned back to normal. I didn't see other Greg's parents anywhere, but hopefully they made it back home. Rowley and I reached a portal, and suddenly everything went black. Greg, where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. You got the not my Roderick ending. Get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. Your 14th digit is 6. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. I decided to approach the girl versions of me. Wait, you guys are, yeah, we're the alternate versions of you. We've been through this a couple of times. They were pretty shocked, but I explained what had happened to us so far. And that we were looking for a portal home. Girl Greg said that she would help us, but that we had to help them with something first. She said we were going to Bethany Breen's house and told us to follow her and Girl Rowley. Make your decision! Help other Greg or find the portal yourself. Choose a path! I asked Greg what was in that yogurt, and he said it was sleeping pills. Greg said Holly had called the cops, so I decided to leave the manis to them. But suddenly, something appeared in front of us. It was yet another portal, but this one felt different somehow. There was a familiar aura to it, like it was somewhere I had seen it before. Rowley and I looked at each other. We knew what we had to do. We said goodbye to this new Greg and Rowley, and then we walked in. I didn't know what awaited us on the other side, but I had a good feeling that we would finally be going home. You got the yogurt explosion ending. The 15th digit is 8. Go back to your previous choice or the very beginning of the video. I agreed and we set off. So what's it like being a girl? What? These are just costumes to get into the party. Did you actually think Rowley and I were girls? Okay, so maybe the voices should have tipped me off, but hey, I, I don't judge, plus I'm pretty sure there's a universe out there where I magically get turned into a girl or something. Eventually, we got into the house and new Greg started giving me instructions. Since this is a girls only party, you won't be able to get in. Movers should be getting here with a giant tub of yogurt. Tell them you're there to help. Greg said that once we got into the house, we couldn't let anyone eat the yogurt. I didn't know what the deal was with this stuff, but I figured the sooner we did what he asked, the sooner we could get home. After a few minutes, someone arrived, but it definitely wasn't the movers. It was a group of mannies. Two of them looked like my brother. But there was also a super muscular four-armed one, and one that looked like some sort of abomination. This is Universe 314, Extermination Squad 58108. Prepare to be killed. I didn't like the sound of that. The fire grew in Big Manny's hands, and Rowley and I ran as he launched an actual fireball at us. Manny kept shooting fireballs, but Rowley and I kept running around frantically, trying to dodge them. As I rolled away from another flaming patch of grass, I noticed something out of the corner of my eye. It was the movers carrying a vat of yogurt. I remember what Greg had said about not letting anyone eat it, and suddenly I had an idea. As the movers ran away in terror, I ran towards the abandoned yogurt tub. Abomination Manny chased after me, and Muscle Manny walked over to me and readied another fireball. I ducked behind the yogurt and waited for the perfect time to dodge. The tub exploded and chunks of the yogurt flew everywhere, including into Manny's mouth. Muscle Manny opened his mouth in shock, and some flew into his mouth. Whoa, this is sounding wrong. After a few seconds, both of the Mannies fell over and didn't move again. 
They were mouth fucked by yogurt. What 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 did they expect? What the heck happened? I wasn't going to wait around and go to a party, especially when those weird objects could show up here at any moment. I led Rowley away from those two and we started searching the school for a portal. But as soon as we're looking in an empty classroom, class door opened behind us. Rowley and I backed up in panic as the fire in the big money hands grew. So many questions ran through my mind, but I knew I only had a second to act. I tried to dodge, but I was too slow. The fireball hurtled towards me, and as a burning sensation enveloped, my vision went black. You got the roasted ending. Get all three and oh shit, three? Fuck. I mean, get all 16 endings to get to the true ending. The 16th digit is three. Go back to your previous choice or to the very beginning of the video. Chances are, Rally was only going to weigh me down, so I decided to figure things out on my own. I ran into my house looking for anyone from my family. Suddenly, I saw Dad, or at least what I thought was Dad. I barely recognized him, but his voice was exactly the same. But whoever this guy was, he wasn't the Frank Heffley that I knew. I ignored him and ran up to my room. But when I got there, something was waiting for me. It was a portal. I didn't know where it led, and I wasn't exactly ready to just blindly jump through it. But it didn't seem like I had many other options. Enter the portal, or search somewhere else. I decided to head through the green portal. When I stepped through, I walked into a massive room. It was the size of a large warehouse with enough buildings and biomes that it seemed like a theme park. As I looked around, I could see a few figures fighting in the distance. One of them had a giant hand, and the other had this weird vine-like body. Did they have superpowers? I didn't want to stick around to find out. I ran away from the group further into the woods. But suddenly, I saw a small, cloaked figure, and it was the last person I expected to see. So, we finally meet, Bubby. It was Manny. I had no idea what he was doing in this arena with me, but hopefully he would have some idea why we were here. When I asked, all I got was this. Join me, Greg. Your potential is wasted at UA. Together we can take down Rowley and all the others. I didn't have a clue what Manny was talking about. Clearly he had somehow been confused by the portal. But suddenly, someone else stumbled into view. He was limping and he looked a little older, but there was no doubt about it. It was me. We stared at each other in confusion, but the one who looked the most confused was Manny. Greg without the limp, where are we? Uh, Surrey Street? Manny looked concerned. He walked over to the other Greg and put a hand on his stomach. I watched in amazement as the color returned to Greg's face and his body straightened back up. It was like Manny was healing him. I asked how he did it, and he said it was his quirk. What's a quirk? Manny raised his eyebrows and smirked, as if he'd been expecting this answer. My friend, you're about to find out. He told me that quirks were basically superpowers that most people here were born with. I didn't know what he meant by here exactly, but I didn't have time to ask. He told me that if I joined his organization, he would give me a quirk of my own. My own superpower? How could I possibly pass that up? Join me, Greg. And Greg... Join Manny, or turn him down. Joining Manny seemed like a no-brainer. I mean, what other chance would I get to have superpowers? Deal! As soon as I agreed, the older Greg did too. Manny raised his hand, and a portal appeared in front of us. The three of us headed through, and we ended up in a dimly lit room. So, Greg, about that power. Let me tell you about one for all. You got the villain ending. I remembered something Manny had said about how together we could destroy Rally. There was no way I was going to help him if that was his goal. I don't know what happened to you, Manny, but there's no way I'm helping you. Unfortunate. Fire shot out from Manny's hands, and I was sure I was a goner, but suddenly there was a shadow looming over me. Manny got out of the way just in time, but now the fight was on. I recognized the muscular guy from somewhere, but I couldn't remember where. Then it hit me. He was Strong Steve. He had been at one of our school assemblies, but what was he doing here? Young man, get out of here. I didn't need to be told twice. I took off away from the two of them, back to the entrance of the building. But suddenly, a portal opened right in front of me, and I barreled right into it. When I came out on the other side, the first thing I noticed was the noise. I felt like my eardrums were about to explode. I immediately realized why. It was gunfire. There were bullets whizzing all around me. I looked around for anywhere to hide and saw some crates scattered around. I dove behind a few and managed to not get shot. As I scanned the room, I made a series of shocking discoveries. 
First, I saw Framley leaving the room, backed by a few guys with guns. The floor was littered with bodies, and I recognized one of them. I felt my chest tighten. It was Rowley! I started to panic. How could Rowley be here? Why was he... dead? I remember the other place I had been in with the other Greg and hoped with all my might this rally wasn't the one I knew. But as the violence continued, I saw something that shocked me most of all. I saw somebody tied up on the ground, bleeding. It was me, or at least some version of me. I was starting to piece together what was happening. It seemed like each of the worlds I traveled to was some alternate version of mine. The first one I went to was somehow superhero themed, and this one, well, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen. The shooting stopped, and the guys on the winning side started searching through the crates. Eventually, one noticed that I wasn't dead. I recognized him. He was Tyson Sanders from my school. But in this world, he was older and had a gun strapped to his arm. You know what happened to old man? I figured old man probably didn't refer to Fregley, which meant he was probably in that group. I considered telling them that I had no idea who they were, but I'd already seen what these guys did to people who weren't on their side. Tell the truth or play along. I figured it was safer to tell the truth. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm Greg Hefley from another universe. Tyson looked like he couldn't tell if I was serious or not, but he clearly recognized my name. He told me to come with him and let me out of the building to a black car with tinted windows. So let me get this straight. You're Greg Hefley, but not our Greg Hefley. Whatever stuff you're on, we should start selling it. Alex Aruda obviously didn't believe me. I thought I was screwed, but suddenly the car stopped. <laughs> We rolled down the windows to see chaos engulfing all around us. Weird-looking objects were popping up everywhere. Just like the universe I was from, this one was collapsing. You're... telling the truth? Alex and Tyson let me out of the car, and we walked about a block until we got to an unmarked warehouse building. Inside, I was surrounded by tons of guys, all panicked because of what was happening outside. But they all stopped when Alex walked in. Greg, whatever is happening out there, you have the force of Plainview's Chinese Mafia on your side. So Alex and Frankly were the leaders of rival mafia gangs? Whatever the case, Alex started assembling his men as I stood there dumbfounded. After a few minutes, Tyson came up to me. One of our guys found this portal thing. We all headed over to the portal, which is a few blocks away. But when we got there, people were already waiting for us. Alex did something I didn't expect. He asked Frankly to join forces, but Frankly had other ideas. Give me Greg Hefley as revenge for killing my beloved. Then we'll talk. I didn't know who Franley's beloved was or what the other me had done, but that didn't sound good. But Alex didn't have a chance to make up his mind. Out of the portal streamed dozens of manis. Most of them were identical, but there were some that were unique, from adults to muscular ones and nightmarish creatures, and they looked like they were ready for a fight. From there, it was an all-out frenzy. It seemed like the mafia was winning out, but suddenly one of the manis got the upper hand. With the leaders gone, the Mings were starting to get the upper hand. Suddenly, I felt something against my back. Recognize me, Bubby? I'm the Alpha Manny from your universe. Every universe has one commonality. I have unexplainable power. From building a mansion in your dimension to being the most powerful quirk user ever in another. Now I'm going to create the Manny Singularity. That was a close one. As the Alpha Manny died, it seemed like the others were disappearing too. Dying or going back to their dimension, I couldn't tell. I noticed the portal the Manny's had come from was closing. Tyson told me to go in, and I didn't need to be told twice. There were still a lot of things I didn't know. What was Manny's goal? What would happen to Tyson and the Chinese Mafia? Was the other me even still alive? As I jumped into the portal, I had a feeling I would never find out. When I came out on the other side, I was sitting at the dinner table. But something was off. Where is Manny? Who's Manny? You got the shootout ending. I looked around frankly and saw Grandpa on the ground. I assumed he was who they meant by old man, and it was pretty obvious what had happened to him. Uh, he was killed by Fregley's guys. Tyson seemed satisfied with that, and he told me to come with him. But just as we were leaving, a voice called out. Wait, I'm the one who worked with old man. He's a fake. Tyson looked back and forth between the two of us. He looked completely confused, but before he could say anything, someone else stepped out of the shadows. White shirt, how did you meet old man? He is, uh, my grandpa? Based on how Alex Aruda frowned, I knew that was the wrong answer. He gestured to Tyson and he pulled out his gun. Well, shit. You got the MLG360 no scope ending.
There's no way I was taking my chances with some random portal. I ran out of my room, but the house was already falling apart. Suddenly, I heard something falling above me. You got the danger above ending. Suddenly, I felt a falling sensation as the ground slipped down under me. I was falling from another portal, and this time there was no one to help me. But when I emerged from the portal, I was at home. In the distance, I could see something. It was an army at least a thousand strong, filled with the most bizarre creatures I had ever seen. And eventually, I realized they were all versions of Manny. Hello again, Bubby. Again? Yes, in fact. You've already faced me and my army countless times. Sometimes you're by yourself, sometimes with Rowley, and sometimes with a whole medley of multidimensional miscreants. Watched, amazed, as something happened all around us. It was as if the fabric of the universe itself was opening up. Mirages all around us showing other dimensions where I had fought Manny. I've seen every battle we've ever had, and every battle we've never had. I know your tricks. I'm here because I'm going to conquer every universe, starting with my own, our own. And this time, you will be destroyed. But then, something happened that neither of us were expecting. Out of the portals emerged, well, they were all me. Every conceivable version of me came from the portals and faced down the Manny army. The two groups stood facing each other in the middle of Surrey Street, and for a minute, time seemed to stand still. Then they charged. I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately, but the battle was complete chaos. One guy with glowing veins beat up dozens of manis like they were bowling pins. Another was engaging one man in a rap battle. A third seemed to be driving a car from GTA 5, with the guns, swords, and plenty of grace just using their bare hands. I wasn't able to do much, a punch here, a fireball dodge there, but it didn't matter. We were winning. A massive golden portal opened up behind the Manny's broken battle lines, and they took their opportunity. This isn't over, Bubby! We'll be back! The leader Manny retreated into the portal, narrowly dodging gunfire from some mafia Greg. When the dust settled, there were plenty of fallen comrades. Many universes would now be without a Greg, but the multiverse was safe for another day. Later, I asked one of the Gregs how they'd gotten here. A few of us had been visited by you, or I guess, other versions of you? We used the portals to round up a huge group of Gregs, and from there we figured out that the Alpha Manny, your Manny, was plotting to take over the multiverse. So I guess my universe is the Alpha universe. I guess that's why mine had been hit by those multidimensional objects first. Manny had said he'd be back, and knowing him, he would deliver on that promise. So we decided to form the Multidimensional Protection Agency to guard against any threats to the multiverse. But we still needed a leader. And who better to lead than the Alpha Greg? You got the true ending. Okay, so if you're watching this right now, uh, congrats, you found the true ending. If not, you're probably still scrolling and making decisions to get to the true ending. But for those who are currently here in the outro, congrats. Um, yeah, so I don't really have much to say at the end right now other than thank you for sticking by me for so long, guys. Um, honestly, uh, a lot has gone down in the past few months I didn't upload and it was rough um mental health issues i felt i don't know alone like i'm gonna be real with you straight up like it was not the best at the time for me and i'm glad that you guys stuck by y'all didn't rush me and i appreciate you guys for that thank you thank you so much i'm now at thirty-two thousand subscribers um i don't know where the channel gonna go from here i said i wanted to get to a hundred thousand by the end of the year but i'm not sure I'm hoping that it's still a reality. I'm hoping because I, I, you, you can't see this right now, but boom, like third New Year's resolution for this year was to get to 100,000. I'm hoping that comes true. Honestly, um, I don't know. But again, I thank you guys. I thank you all for sticking by me through this whole thing, through the waiting time. Y'all shouldn't have to wait so long for me to drop videos, but, you know, I guess that's just how it is. Um, yeah, but um, thank you. Uh, thank you a lot. Um, yeah, so in the description, let me know if you made it to the true ending or you found the true ending. And uh, let me know what else y'all want me to read. And I'm being serious about this one. Whatever y'all want me to read, I'm going to read that for y'all. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, follow me on my social media, you know, Twitter. Um, even though I barely use Twitter, so. <laughs> <laughs> and follow me on Instagram, even though I barely use Instagram. <laughs> um you know join the discord i probably might be making a new discord because this one is currently dead as fuck so 
Might make a new one. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's all I got to say. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> uh, hi, I miss doing this.